Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another quant price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the quant chart which at the time of this recording is trying to battle out the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also continued to hold above our key area of support at around the 133.2 dollar mark and my next key area of resistance that I'm watching is at around the 147.9 dollar mark. We have also continued to obey the Edit of structures where I believe we have fully maximized our target areas to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2. And whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of a larger edge to have country that I have right here. And before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets to the upside in the formation of this wave 3, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening where you can see that after quant so the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing our prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that gave us a low at around the $40.1 mark and after seeing the bear market low we started this massive bounce to the upside of being the ADU12 structures where you can see that I have this ADU12 structure in blue having the wave 5 making its peak at around the $229 mark and also completing the formation of that larger ADU12 count 1 to the upside and after seeing the formation of a larger ADU12 count 1 whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADU12 count 2 where we also expected to see an ABC corrective structure also play out which we have seen over here having the wave C giving us a low at around the $94.4 mark and also completing the formation of that larger ADU12 count 2. And after seeing the formation of a larger edge to have count to whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these wave 3 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $397.1 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting this larger ADO12 count 3 to the upside to do and because a larger ADO12 count 3 is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 and that is because of its impulsive nature and I believe we are seeing such a movement over here where you can see that after making a our low in the formation of these larger ADO12 count 2 we started this massive bounce to the upside having that one to set up and after seeing the one to set up we started this ADO12 structure where I'm terming that is the first wave to the upside making our peak at around the $165.5 mark and after seeing the high for that wave one whatever I expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADO12 count 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gives me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 and that lies between the $133.5 mark and the $126.1 mark and it is within that target area that I was expecting to see the low for that second wave and after seeing the low for that second wave whatever we expect here on the short term scenarios is a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these wave 3 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $229.2 mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave 3 to the upside to do then we can expect a wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 and since we're in the formation of this wave 3 which is also an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 and I believe we are seeing such a scenario over here and if I zoom in so that you can see that better here after making our low for this second wave at around the $126.7 mark we started this massive bounce to the upside seeing a peak at around the $148.2 mark in what I'm terming is that first wave to the upside which is a fractal wave within the formation of that wave 3 then we have seen this corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 then I'm expecting a wave 3 to start very soon then expect a wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of this wave 5 to fully maximize our target areas to the upside 
outside in the formation of these larger adu 12 country and getting to see whether the second wave down here has done the minimum that we expect a second wave to the lower side to do by connecting the fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gives me a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that which lies between the 137.4 dollar mark and the 134.9 dollar mark and it is within this red target area that I was expecting to see the low for that second wave to the lower side which is a target area that we have now fully maximized and after fully maximizing it whatever we expect next is that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 168 0.5 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that wave three to the upside to do and you can see yesterday before we had the weekly close we had a straight sell off over here in a move that gave us a low at around the 120 133.7 dollar mark and after seeing that massive sell off to the lower side we saw the formation of a candlestick pattern that is in formation right here which is a long week to the lower side which is an indication that the sellers we are not that strong to continue pushing the price even lower and the buyers were able to get back into the market and we are able to push the price even higher and if i also take a look at the volume indicator over here you can see we have a very strong increase in the volume over here after seeing this massive long week and that was an indication that the buyers were able to get back into the market to push the price even higher and that's the reason as to why we are seeing this recovery to the upside in a move that could help us continue pushing even higher get above the 20 day ma and once we manage to break above the 20 day ma have enough support for us to continue pushing higher then i'll be watching our next key area of resistance at around the 147.9 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that key area of resistance then i'll be expecting to see a retest and once the retest is in then we can continue pushing even higher and knocking higher prices to fully maximize our target area at around the 168.7 dollar mark in the formation of these wave 3 so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'm so happy that we have fully done the minimum that we expected this second wave to the lower side to do and now we should expect this massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 so continue watching the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart the wave one high at around the 148 dollar mark and also our next key area of resistance at around the 147.9 dollar mark because a break above those key areas here on the charts could trigger even higher prices to help us fully maximize our target areas in the formation of that wave 3 and that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and also on the long term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 50 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish crossover here but you can see we are seeing a sharp decrease in the selling momentum here on the MACD, meaning soon we are going to be able to print the that bullish cross to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated